Attorney Thomas DeVore filed the original lawsuit challenging mask mandates. And he joins us now via Zoom with reaction to the ruling. Thomas, good morning. Good morning. So you had uh, clients from across the state, parents and students involved in this lawsuit. Curious what their reaction is here. Well, the ruling came out pretty late last night, so I haven't had a chance to talk to many of my clients yet, but I, uh, I have in fact read through the order and uh, analyzed it myself. So, but my client's reaction, I don't know yet because I haven't talked to them. Right, it's pretty early here. What was your reaction to the ruling? And the reaction was what I've always argued that it should have been for a long time. You know, the, the point that you guys made about school districts uh, still having the ability to issue policy. That's true, but the judge made it clear their policies can't violate the due process protections of the Department of Health Act, so they can't do what they want. They still have to follow the law. I'm curious if you were surprised to see after you filed this lawsuit and everything kind of went through the courts, the decision was made originally, we started to see a lot of protests pop up locally at school district school board meetings. Were you surprised to see that, or was that something you were kind of hearing in your talks? That's something that I've been trying to encourage and accomplish for two years was to get the people involved and participating because ultimately they're the ones that are in control of how we govern ourselves. And, and all they needed was a little bit of encouragement from the court to show that they do in fact have rights in need of protection. And once they were convinced that was true, uh, the people across the whole state kind of took control for themselves and started demanding accountability from their local districts. And of course, you probably know uh, a lot of people watching this morning uh, have kids at CPS. Were any of your plaintiffs uh, represented by Chicago Public Schools? Yes, I actually have a contempt order against the Chicago Public Schools right now because they're trying to play games to say that they're not required to allow my children to go without masks because of the collective bargaining agreement they have with uh, the teachers union, which again is there's no legal premise that has any merit to that. So they actually have to appear next Friday in the Sangamon County Court because I'm having them held in contempt. Uh, I have about eight children in the school district, but in the last week or so, I've got another 100 or 200 parents asking to be added to that lawsuit. And again, the Chicago public school system does have the ability, nobody's ever contested to create their policies, but their policies cannot violate the due process protections uh, of the Illinois Department of Public Health Act. The governor can't violate it, the court said, uh, ISBE, IDPH, and certainly not the local school district. All right, Thomas Abor, we really appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you. And of course, we're going to continue welcome. to follow the develop developments all morning long. Thank you very much. We're going to get reaction.